Well, hi guys, today we've got a, a very special guest. Uh, Tori is with us today from the Chapin Foundation and we've, as far as just you and I, I've known you for a few years through through this relationship yeah. with the Chapin Foundation. And um, we're just so thankful for what they do in the community for so many organizations uh, and uh, for what they do for us. It's, it's through their support, through the foundation that they support Ground Zero. One of a lot of people, uh, but they are one uh, of our key supporters and we're just so thankful for what you guys do that makes what we do here possible. And for, you know, maybe for those folks today that may not be familiar with the Chapin Foundation, share a little bit about sure. who you guys are. Okay. Um, well, the Chapin Foundation has been around in Myrtle Beach for almost 80 years. Wow. Um, our founder was um, an early uh, real estate developer and, and entrepreneur and pioneer um, by the name of Simeon B. Chapin. Mm -hmm. And um, he's, his name is still out and about because he, through the course of his um, time in Myrtle Beach, um, became partners with uh, Franklin Burroughs. And today there is the Burroughs and Chapin Company, okay. which is the largest real estate development company in Myrtle Beach, certainly, and even in the region. So um, when Mr. Chapin passed away, he had left all of his shares in that company to a foundation. Hmm. And at that time, and that was um, it, it, before he passed away, in 1943, he set up the foundation. Wow. And he made very clear how he wanted any future earnings from those um, for the shares to be spent and he wow. was very clear that he wanted um, his money to be spent in through the into the churches in Myrtle Beach um, and their non and their um, at local missions which ground zero would be considered a local mission here mm -hmm. in Myrtle Beach um, he also um, specified the YMCA the public library which here in the city of Myrtle Beach is named for him um, and public health care opportunities which are um, things like maybe counseling centers or recovery centers oh, okay. um, largely faith-based yeah. and mr chapin um, just had a vision for what myrtle beach could be i don't know that he imagined this many people living in myrtle beach but right. um and so when he set it up the, his foundation was to support organizations specifically in the city limits of myrtle beach wow so it's a pretty special thing that our community has and um, we do you know kind of keep a low profile in terms of um, you're not going to see our name plastered all over everything yeah. um, however we have been a very influential and um, kind of underlying support for many organizations for about 80 years wow 1940s I bet Myrtle Beach looked a lot different a lot different yeah. yes yes it did how cool would it be if he could see I think he would legacy. be so excited and one of the things that we we know a little bit about him from his letters and um, some you know history his, he still has family members that are alive today and um, one of one of whom is actually serves on a on our board of directors oh, cool. um, so we do know a little bit about him and one of the things we do know is that he was a man of a, just a sincere and deep Christian faith wow. and one of his passions really was young people mm. and um, giving them an opportunity to know the Bible to know the Christian message and um, also just for their training and, yeah. and becoming leaders in the community and I think Ground Zero does a great job of of all of those things well thank you so much yeah and uh, you know thank you for those of you who are out there supporting us in whatever role and capacity you can financially and volunteers it takes everybody oh, yeah. uh, to make this possible I mean we're shooting this on a Wednesday but uh, just this morning we did school assemblies at Myrtle Beach Middle School and uh, the message that we were able to get into the schools uh, in part because of our partners who allow us the opportunity to uh, fund these these things and the things that we do on a weekly basis here. So, so thank you guys so much uh, for what you do, not only for us, but for the whole uh, Myrtle Beach area and other ministries and, and organizations that are taking care of our community. So, uh, and again, thank you all for everything that you do, uh, because again, it's, it's a, a partnership of a group of people that makes everything that we do here happen.